Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Justin, uh, back again for a comic review this time, and this time we're going to be talking about Secret Wars issue number four that just came out this week. And I know it's been a little bit of a break since Secret Wars number three came out, but this picks up basically right um, at the end of there, uh, uh, right at the end of where Secret Wars number three came out, or left off. Jonathan Hickman, um, I think he's doing a great job, I really enjoy his work. Um, I've actually gone back and picked up like his Fantastic Four stuff uh, just and Future Foundation just because I wanted to read it. So, um, great cover here with uh, Dr. Doom and his court, as it were. Um, <laughs> so just kind of how they're going. But uh, like I said, picks up right where last issue left off. Dr. Strange is um, still talking to everybody who got off the 616 um, life raft or interdimensional raft. And we also have Miles, who was with him, um, just kind of explaining how Doom came to power or what, what happened to make this world. Um, and of course, they're kind of questioning why they didn't stop him and things like that. Um, but while this is going on, the, the Thor that's with him, the young Thor that we're kind of seeing this, this whole uh, story through his eyes, he gets a, an alert, like his hammer starts going off, that there is you know, something that, that requires their presence. Um, I mean, you know, it's like a big deal if, if this is going on. And this is kind of told to us because of who got off of the other life raft, uh, everybody from the Cabal. So Thanos, um, the, Earth six, or the 1610 version of uh, Mr. Fantastic. I can't remember his name. The maker, the reader, the something, er, um, Maximus. We got uh, Black Swan, Proximo Midnight, yeah, so all those people, and they are beating the Thors up pretty good. So when this signal goes out and all the Thor hammers start glowing, um, this is actually, the Thors are trying to get in contact, and they actually do get in contact with, um, with Doom, because he needs, his attention needs to be brought out there. So Doom kind of shows up. Um, kind of lays down the law about what's going on, um, gives everybody a chance to maybe choose or not choose. There, are, I will say that there are two ma major, major can't talk. There are two major characters in this story that take a crazy turn, and I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to spoil this issue for you at all, but it's just, it was shocking, shocking. But you kind of have to be uh, on the lookout for things like that, or kind of expect them to happen with a story of this size, of this scope. And um, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. So here, it's the last thing I'll show you before kind of end this one, roll it up, wrap it up here. Is um, so Doctor Doom actually talking to Reed Richards now, and and it kind of alludes to that Doctor Doom has gone through Battle World over the years and eliminated all the reeds that he could find. So he was kind of a surprised to see another Reed Richards pop up here. But overall, I really enjoyed this book. There's a lot more that goes on that I don't want to spoil for you. But uh, just let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. I'd probably give it a four, maybe a four and a half, uh, just because I was really looking forward to it. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.